Oh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another great adventure. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the great content that we have been putting out so far and uh, we've got a lot of content to gather this weekend. Yes, guys, we have a triple header weekend. So we're gonna see what the first one brings and we're just gonna go from small to big. So today we've got our smallest wedding, which is gonna be at a familiar venue. We're going all the way over to Lexington to Wintergreen Woods. You guys have seen me play there and stuff before. And um, we're gonna have a good time. I love some of this music and stuff that I'm gonna be playing this weekend. It's very different than what you guys are accustomed to here on the channel. So definitely, definitely come along and let's get this weekend started i am super pumped I'll probably be exhausted by the end of all of this so book club welcome back baby let's get round one started yeah boy yo 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 welcome to Wintergreen Woods over here in Lexington, South Carolina. As you can see, the sun is fully out. The temperature today is 98 degrees here in South Carolina. And um, they're having their wedding outside. I mean, do you see my forehead? Just letting you know, we are back and here today. Now, let me give you guys a quick pro tip. You know, I always tell you guys to make sure that you leave early and stuff for your event. This is a great example. I left the house today, as you saw, at two something, and the ceremony doesn't even start until six o'clock. And I didn't get here until four because of that traffic. Insane, insane. Why are people on the road all the time? All right, so we're gonna go inside and we're gonna show you the setup and stuff real quick. And we're gonna go over a few things just to let you know. Day one of three weddings this weekend. Friday, kicking it off. Let's go inside. All right, so we're inside, and uh, here is the setup and everything here. You guys have seen me do this a hundred times over here in the corner, but I'll go over it really quickly for you. You can see that I'm missing a couple of things. Let me tell you guys, if you don't do a checklist, you will forget the smallest thing. Now, what's missing from here? Yeah, my sign. I left my sign. Come on, man. All right, so at the top, we're using one Chave Watch FX2 because this dance floor is really, really small. So we definitely want to keep it, you know, the way I don't blind anybody. Two of the QSC KW122s, one event table, two from ADJ. We've got our rock and roller cart under there. That's brand new. Welcome to the family. Two of the Scrim King double sided white skirts with two Frankenstein F1 hydraulic stands. We've got our laptop skin from Sticker Light. You can find them on Instagram if you guys want to. And behind the board, we are rocking the Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT as the mixer. We've got our headphone clip as well as our V-Moto Crossfade LP2 headphones. I've got the iPad that's going to run all of our scenes. And we've got the Airstream DMX bridge. And we're running Serato DJ Pro 2.5 as our software so that's all set now as you can see i've got all my stuff back here because there's not really a room to be able to hold it so everything is back here with me but uh we're going to go ahead and get started and uh first we got to make sure we change clothes and yes we are back and we are ready to go so we are going to skip past all the ceremony stuff go right in to the introduction so you guys get ready um this one has to make us to be a good one. So the uh, only problem is we are starting late. That's the only problem. We are starting late. Brad is not here. We're supposed to start at 4.30 and it is 5.08 at the moment. We'll see. Oh! 
Well, well, welcome back to day number two of a eventful weekend. This is day number two and gig number two. We've got three gigs this weekend, and you guys saw what happened last night. Wasn't too eventful, not a whole lot to show, but sometimes it is like that. But today, I think it's gonna be very exciting for you guys, so I hope you're ready. We are at the Alumni Center downtown Columbia, and um, I got a lot to unpack and stuff today. Got some new stuff to show you, so we need to get started. Let's first go see where we're setting up at. Let's go. All right, so I think that we are in the right area here. Here's my couple here on that screen, as you can see. And I think we're gonna be in this room right here. I mean, it looks, for the most part, setup um not quite sure where i'm at so the best thing for me to do is to go ahead and get everything up here so let's do that and then i will find somebody to be able to show me exactly where i'm going to set up at i think in the diagram i was over there so let's hope that's where i am hopefully all right so we are all pulled up here and uh we've got all the stuff up here and let me tell you what saved my life this little invention right here. So I know you guys are gonna go ahead and say it, but you're late to the party, rock and roll the cart, you should have been had it. This saved my behind. I had three trips up the elevator and this carried everything. This is perfect. So this is all the setup here, but the problem is, is that all of this has to go there in that one corner. Are you serious? Only good part about most of this is that there are outlets all up here. I'm hoping they're on a, a different outlet, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know how I do. Let's see. Oh man, okay. So after some intense setting up, I am all done and I am ready to go. I know you guys see chairs and stuff in front of it, but they are going to flip the room after the ceremony. And the dance floor is gonna be right in this area here, so I'm just testing everything out. But let's quickly go over what we've got in store for you guys today. Today, we've got two QSC KW181 subwoofers. We welcome in our new Gator Framework poles for our sub poles. Two of the QSC KW122s. We've got two of the Chave Wash FX2s. We've got the brand new ADJ Focus Spot 4Zs and also the brand new Rockville 32W stands along with a Pro X 5 panel facade. And behind the board, we've got our Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT mixer. We've got our ADJ Airstream DMX bridge. We've got our iPad that's gonna run all of our shows. We've got Serato DJ Pro 2.5. We're using one, two, three, and four of the AGJ Element Hex PARS. We've got our clip to hold our V-Moda Crossfade LP2 headphones. And I'm actually gonna do a monogram and everything today, but I'm gonna wait till after they flip the room with our Epson projector. And it's got the USB right here. And I just got the gravity stand behind me on this shelf because it's gonna shoot down right on the floor, right in front of me right there. All right, so I'm saying all this stuff fast. I'm talking like I'm out of breath because I, uh, it's time for me to go ahead and get set up. Um, so let's go ahead and make sure we change clothes. We are back and we are all set up and ready to go. I forgot to tell you guys that we're actually running the ceremony set up as well. Right over there in the corner, we're using the Maui 5 Go and we're also gonna use the Maui 5 Go for a cocktail hour. So that's right, we're doing three things today. We are going to do ceremony, we are going to do cocktail hour and reception. So you guys, give me some light here. You guys get ready. It is almost show time, baby. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the setup. We're gonna rock it out tonight. Let's go. So cocktail hour is happening right now and then we're going to uh, jump right into introductions. I didn't realize this is only about 35 people. So small wedding today, small room, but uh, we're gonna make the most of it. Monogram got put up. We're ready to go. See you in the second introductions.
Come on, make him honor Remy Jeffries. Let me talk to you about something after this event. So there's a little thing called utilization of time. Now, the first event that you guys saw, they did not utilize their time very well. I only had about 30 minutes to play for this gig. Think about that. In 30 minutes, when people are ready to go, when they've been sitting all day, they're not gonna give me their energy. They're not gonna give me 
anything to really work with. I only had a few dancers and stuff left in the house by that time once I got to play music because everybody had pretty much already left. So I just don't understand some of these times when these wedding parties just don't utilize the time. Maybe it's more about the ceremony, who knows? You guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of you know couples who don't utilize their time. Do you feel like it was a waste of your time or do you feel like, hey, it is what it is, I got paid anyway. Now, the second event, they did a little bit of a better job. However, did you see the size of that dance floor? That dance floor was only an eight by eight. And I just had to do the best I could because of the space that allowed in that. Man, we were in some tight quarters in that event, but you know what? We still made the most out of it. Only 32 guests at that one. So everything that you guys saw, I was based on that amount of people in the room so hey i just work with what i'm given and we just move right along and that's what we're going to do now so congratulations to both of those couples hopefully we'll see some of you again because i did pass out a few cards and stuff to some of their guests so i may be seeing some of those guys again in the near future all right i'm not going to hold you up here guys if you would like to jump on honeybook honeybook also has some special promotions for you guys the links and everything are down below, but you can get half off your first year's membership by using the link down below, as well as if you would like to get some great music, like some of the music that you heard during these events, please make sure you jump on BPM Supreme, use the code down below, save yourself 25% and get yourself some great playlists together. We wanna to switch up the music stuff for you here in 2021 and how else are you going to do that unless you have some great record pools before you guys get out of here make sure you give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked it as well as if you haven't done so also press that subscribe button we are still on our path and our goal to hit 7,000 subscribers thank you so much for 6k now let's make our way to 7k share the video Thank you so much for subscribing and turn on those notification bells so you know when I put out another video because this next one may be the best gig of 2021 so far. We're gonna see who can top that. 2021 best gig log coming your way. How else will you know if I put it out if you don't have the bell on? Don't forget that I'll be putting some stuff on Mixcloud. It's really, really tough to get stuff on there right now because of the time frame and time that I am allowed right now. I mean, I am in the middle of a busy, busy June and uh, this is not a lot of time in the day. So I have just got to try to make time, but follow me on Mixcloud. I'm gonna be putting some mixes and stuff out there, hopefully for your summer. That's what the vibe I'm gonna go for. All right, we're gonna get out of here. And if you don't know, now you know, see you guys real soon. And you're not gonna wanna miss this next one. Watch out.